Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So this is the next part of the last wall update. Um, I forgot which bloody episode we're on now. There's so many, there's just so many stuff I've done to last wall. It's growing day by day and um, the stuff I'm going to show off today is absolutely incredible. I've been waiting to show this off now for so bloody long. Now in the last uh, last wall video we did, um, I shown off the Reclaimers of Dawn. It's my uh, custom made chapter. Since then, I've added a few more bits to it. Um, one being this Dreadnought. Um, I actually got this before the Indominus box launch. I actually was painting it up to the Indominus release. Uh, and I was like, you know, I just want to do something. I've just got no hobby to do. So I decided to do um, this Dreadnought. It's not fully completed yet. I'm still waiting on a few decals to do. But you can just get like the gist of it. Um, of what it looks like. You know, the Gatling cannon on it and everything like that. Um, the Reclaimer symbol. You know, the big Imperial slash fist on it. Um, lots of gold. Lots and lots of gold. Um, I was actually going to do all this silver and stuff, but I decided I just want it gold. I just want it big. I just want it golden. I want it shiny. Just shiny and gold. That's that, that's what I wanted with. Um, like I said, I'm waiting a few a few more decals for like hair and stuff like that um, to fill it in. Uh, one of the things um, I want to show off is this custom-made um, um, Greek skirt, I like to call them. I know they've got like a... Um, um, a weird name, but I can never pronounce it, so I'll just call them like Greek skirts or Greek kilts. Now, this was made by a company called Strata Miniatures, and um, they've actually sent me a ton of stuff to show off as well. Um, so they made that. They actually do make custom stuff. I'll include the link like at the bottom of the video, and also like in the description in case you want to go there, and you want to visit it, you know, and you know, ask questions. But they do like loads of like custom tokens and stuff like that. That these are the ones they sent me. I am in talks with like doing like maybe custom last war ones, maybe like objective one would be like an imperial fist objective to like a templar cross objective three like um you know an executioner um symbol and stuff like that um so maybe that's something they can do but you but but they will make your own so if you've got any like designs you want to do or maybe you just want to buy these then go over there and do it if you use the um code name valrak um, i think it's live at the moment for the next 72 hours you did get a 10 percent discount um so if you want to buy anything use that and you'll get some money knocked off um they do stuff like this like com uh, custom combat gauges and everything like that this is like the imperium one this is like the necron one but if you go over to their website again you can see like they do custom designs of these so maybe they can have like your custom chapter symbol on there your custom chapter name and um they come like this, so you can basically paint it however you want. I think I'm going to just spray on mine silver and have like a you know a nice silvery feel into it. Um, they actually do like Xenos theme ones as well. Like this is one of the Xenos theme ones. Um, so yeah, if you're like a Necron player or anything, just go over there, give it a look. Uh, there's this this fantasy stuff. There's absolutely everything over there to go over and um, give it a look. Okay, so the next thing I want to show off is um, something absolutely just fantastic, marvelous. Like this is literally the crown in my gem when it comes to modeling now and it is chapter master valrak now this was made by a chap called baz um, wilkins and um, he is over on instagram uh, sorry watkins not bad w w wilkins sorry sorry baz 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 watkins he's over on instagram um, I include his instagram link at the bottom of the screen and stuff like that but this is what he made me he made me a custom chapter master valrak now um I do have another Chapter Master Valrak, which we'll show off in a second, but this is the Reclaimers of Dawn Chapter Master Valrak. Like, Chapter Master Valrak becomes the Chapter Master of the Reclaimers of Dawn, the chapter that you see in the background. So this guy is going to be painted all gold. Um, his, his abs were actually modelled off myself. I sent um, um, Baz a, a picture of my stomach. So uh, he, he carved that from an actual image of me. <laughs> um, but this is the back of it. It's all just stuck on my blue tack and pins at the moment, so I'm being very, very delicate when I, when I spin this around. But um, we, we decided to go for that, that proper, you know, stoic kind of, like that Rogal Dawn type kind of pose. Um, he's holding on to um, a skeleton hand here. There's a little bit of lore behind this, which I'm not going to reveal yet, but uh, it's awesome. The face, if you can see the face, come on, focus. The, the face is kind of, well, it's based off Chapter Master Varric, of course, Chapter Master Varric, so, you know, he went in and he did all the scars and stuff like that, absolutely, just amazing, I'm blown away, I am literally blown away with the quality of this, this is like, beyond GW to me, it is, it is just perfection, like the fist sculpted on here, everything like that, the sword, the sword's like, you know, taken from the artwork I've had done from him, um, absolutely, it's, it, it's like a dream come true having something sculpted like this um, for something that you designed in your head. And I'm, I'm just so happy. I'm just so thankful um, for Baz. Now, the the other Chapter Master Valrak model um, I had 
was this one. This is the one I did. Um, because, of course, um, Chats Master Varak is an Imperial Fist. Well, he was an Imperial Fist. Um, what the story is, is, of course, he's got to be a Grey Shield in the Imperial Fist. And when all the Primaris chapters get um, founded, he founds the Reclaimers of Dawn to go and search for Rogaldard, because that's the law behind it. And every, you know, reclaim what is taken, avenge what is lost, and stuff like that. Um, so, before, during the Indominus Crusade, after the Indominus Crusade. So, you can see... Um, the before and afters um, on these guys um, right here. But that's not all. That is not all because someone contacted me on Instagram, a, a chap called Jake D, um, uh, Jake, Jake D Painting. Um, again, I'll include his things down here. And he actually made for me his own version. Well, he, he said, hey, Varak, I love your chapter design so much. Um, would you mind if I do like a captain from it and um, make a captain? I was like, mate. Do it. You know, that's awesome. I, I love the thought that I'm, you know, giving people, um, insp you know, in, in inspiring them to actually make chapters and stuff like that. Um, so he made this captain. He hasn't put any decals on because he didn't have the decals. I'm going to put the decals on later. But he made this captain. And I've got to say, Jake, it is absolutely incredible. Like, he showed me pictures of it. But having it in, you know, when, when you get it in your hands and stuff and you you look at it, it it's just it's just a whole different level. It's absolutely beautiful. So thank you, thank you so much. Um, I really do appreciate like the sword, the pose, the way he looks. Um, I, I have no idea what company I'm going to give him yet. Um, maybe like um, third or fourth company because I've got some ideas for the first company and second company. Um, but it's it's fantastic. Absolutely love it, mate. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. You're an absolute legend. It is just absolutely bloody beautiful, really. Um, I love it. Now, Onto the Indominus stuff, because of course the Indominus box sets are out right now. So I have started with the Indominus stuff, and I'm going to show off what I started with, and it is of course the Imperial Fists. Now, um, Eradicate is a life, I've got to say. As an Imperial Fist, Eradicate is a life. So I've actually started on the Eradicators. I have assembled um, the Assault Marines, which we'll look at in a second. Um, but first I started with the Eradicators, but since it's been so hot in the UK, I was actually planning to have these finished the other day, but it was just too hot to paint so um what i did i basically i've been left with like you know a guy um cosplaying ferris manis at the moment um haven't had the head finished on this one i need to like you know do washes on the um purity seals or the silvers and everything like that but all the battle damage and everything is on of course i need to put the um, actual decals on and stuff like that this is where i'm up to on the third one I've just done like, let me focus that, I've just done one of the glaze washes on it, I need to do another glaze wash, but that's where we're up to so far, um, again, it, it's a bit too hot to start doing like black paints and stuff, so um, I think I'm just going to wait for it to get, get, to get a little bit cooler, because I've got no air conditioning in the house, because we're in the UK, so we don't, you know, we don't have that fancy stuff, and then um, we'll just go from there, so hopefully by the end of this week, uh, well, it's Sunday now, no, it's Saturday now, yeah, so hopefully by the end of Sunday, um, my full eradicator squad will be absolutely, you know, ding dang do and finished. Um, when it comes to Black Templars, because the Black Templars are the next chapter that are answering um, uh, the Last War call, it's the Assault Intercessors. So all these guys, including the Shield guy um, uh, in the uh, in the Indominus set, you know, the guy with the uh, yeah, uh, the skeleton on his shield. Uh, and the Lieutenant, they'll be Templars. I'm thinking of doing something else than the Ancient and the Chaplain at this moment in time, um, but these are going to be Templars. Now, there's a bit of debate um, we've been talking about when it comes to these. Um, since the Black Templars don't follow the Codex of Starters, would it be right to do them with red on their trim? Some some people have been saying to me, no, they don't follow the Codex of Starters, so they would actually be Initiates, so it would be... Um, a black trim, white background with two Templar crosses either side, rather than the assault ones where it is a red trim, um, white um, Templar cross and an assault cro and a, an assault marking on this side because um, the Black Templars do their own thing. Um, so if anyone can give me some advice on that, I'm so torn what to do. I think whatever decision I make, someone's always going to com complain about it. So I think I'll have to just um, um, use my own one, but. The assault guys are basically all done. They're all together now. Um, this is what the paint job's got to be looking like because, you know, that was the test model on the Templar for those who didn't see it. Um, so it's definitely, definitely got to be um, looking something um, uh, like this. Uh, but 
on that note, I'm just going to leave it there. I'm just going to, you know, bring Chapter Master Valrak in there. Look, oh my god, look how amazing he looks. And of course, um, uh, Jake's um, image there. And some of, you know, there we go. Look, some, some of the actual... Um, objective markers and the combat gauges everything that we you know we've been showing off here today um i hope you've enjoyed this little last wall update um it's been fun it's been emotional um next one i should have all this painted and um, hopefully the entire indominus box painted as well and we can go through there because the bikes and stuff are going to be painted as imperial fist and, and you know everything like that so hopefully a lot more to show off when it comes to the next video and uh, thank you for coming to this video hope you've enjoyed yourself if you've got any thoughts feedback anything like that leave it down below and um, we'll have a nice little talk down there so uh, thank you for coming thank you for watching have a great day and bye bye see you now bye <laughs>